this is um, a very important message. And excuse me if my talking isn't quite right, but I've I've got a cut on my tongue, so it's, it's hurting a bit on that side. But anyway, I manage. Right. <clears throat> um, every time we have an election in this country, the parties are all behind the National Health Service, the NHS. They're all saying how much money they're going to put into the NHS. Well, look, I think the NHS is rubbish. No, I'll rephrase it. It's not rubbish, right? If there's a car accident, you need an ambulance. Um, if you have a, a major accident, you need to go to A&E. And if you've got some weird problems, you want to go and see the doctor. Right, that's fine. So my main issue is with the treatments that they offer. And also, the thing is, you know, if you do need a doctor, surely the doctor should come to you. Uh, that way they'd get to see uh, how you're living and, you know, be able to offer advice for a healthier sort of house or whatever, you know. Um, but no, my, my main issue is with the treatments. And the main reason for this video is the treatments which include a needle. Now I made some videos a, way back, a little while back saying the HPV vaccine was the mark of the beast. Well now I'm thinking that anything administered with a needle is basically the mark of the beast. And yesterday, and I'll explain why, and yesterday I heard on the news that there's this new uh, new treatment for uh, people with um, heart, heart attack risks, what do they call it, uh, uh, cholesterol, high levels of cholesterol. And so far these people have been put on statins, which are very controversial, they're not very good, you don't really want to be on statins. But anyway, this new treatment is even worse, and they're saying anyway, you'll still be using statins. But what it's going to do is it's going to suppress some particular parts of your DNA for a period of about six months um, in order to make the liver take on more of this cholesterol and break, break it down. Well, first of all, I'd say a big word of warning in messing about with your liver. Um, if the liver isn't breaking down the cholesterol, perhaps there's a good reason for that. And if you force it to do it, um, there's going to most likely be some sort of awful side effect. Your liver may fail and then you will die. Uh, but that probably won't come out for a while. But what's quite interesting that they're suppressing these genes for a period of six months is this thing that's happening in the fifth trumpet when these uh, scorpions sting people and men will be tormented for five months they'll want to die but they won't be able to die so perhaps you know we're talking about uh, 15 about 13 years from now, you know, one of these batches of this new treatment for high cholesterol could be, you know, have something wrong with it, whether by accident or on purpose, and people will be in torment. Now, the reason an injection is the mark of the beast is this. <coughs> A needle <clears throat> bypasses all of your body's defences and will put something directly into your bloodstream. So at the moment, in nature, that can happen with a mosquito. And a mosquito can penetrate, well, so far, and um, inject something into your blood, thereby bypassing a lot of your defence systems. And, but, you know, they're mosquitoes, they're natural. Okay, you know, malaria is a problem, I'm sure, but 
I'm sure there's another angle on this. I actually trust mosquitoes. I'll let them bite me. I think I could as just as well get some positive antibodies as anything negative. And so I'm, I'm in trust with that. I'm trusting in nature. I'm trusting in God. So when we accept an, an injection, now we're, now we're trusting in the, in the pharmaceutical industry, the doctors of medicine, these practices of medicine, because they're not really healers, they just practice medicine. And we're putting our trust in them, so it's a type of worship. And as far as I can see now, it's just getting worse and worse. Um, a lot of people are having flu jabs, uh, there's more and more vaccines, you know, they're bundling many vaccines into one. There's controversial, this MMR at a young age. And it's basically taking all the trust away from nature and putting all that trust into uh, pharmaceuticals and what, what they decide. And that's foolish in my opinion. I mean, you become reliant on these things, and what about if the system breaks down? Then you have your your body isn't used to um, having to combat things itself, and um, it might not work properly. So, although I've had injections in my life, you know, through ignorance, I will not be having an injection ever again. Not willingly, I will not let anyone inject anything into me. And I think that's a perfectly reasonable stance if someone chooses to make that stance. But I do have a feeling that at some point in the future, the people who are reliant on the injections and have gone that way, um, people who don't want to take them are going to be sort of demonised by the, by the rest of the public, sort of somehow blamed or we can't fully vaccinate against all these diseases if there are people out there who don't want them. You know, and at the moment there's lots of people in Africa who don't like the vaccinations that they're being offered. And, you know, they're you'll hear radio programs basically blaming them, you know, oh we can't get polio eradicated because you know these countries won't accept it and stuff like that and so you know it's that's the way it's going that is the way it's going so beware I wouldn't don't let them don't let them stick anything into you that's my advice, but, you know, who will take my advice? Anyway, I think that's it.